Abu Dhabi's Yas Marina circuit was host to the fifth round of the UAE National Race Day Series, which saw action from the SciTech UAE GT Championship, the Total UAE Touring Cars, the UAE Sports Cars and the Suzuki Swift Cup. The races were all run on the North Circuit configuration, which ultimately made for some fast and furious racing on the day. In the Suzuki Swift Cup, it was a good day out for Klaus Kresnik in the number 7 car, as he won two of the three scheduled races. Victory in race two went to the veteran driver Kostas Papatonis. Elsewhere, and one of the highlights of the day at Yas Marina, was the UAE sports car battle for top honours between reigning UAE champion Jordan Grogor in the AUH Motorsports Radical and ace British driver Rob Barr in the NFS Juno. There was nothing to separate the pair on the day, and fittingly they went home with a winner piece. Grogor winning race one and Barr taking victory in race two. Jordan, first place and you look very pleased with that. Uh, that was the result we were waiting for. Uh, all credit to the team, they did an amazing job. Uh, as you know, and as you asked me yesterday, we've had a few issues on the setup. Uh, AUH guys are the real winners today. They got the car perfect and it showed in the race. In the total UAE Touring Car Championship, it was a day of mixed fortunes for the Class 1 pace setter Khalid Bin Heda. The Emirates Racing Team driver has been the toast of this year's Touring Cars in his Seat Supercopa. Race 1 and the Emirati took a comfortable win over rookie Andre Ramdani in the MSW Seat. With Hader eventually crossing the line some 20 seconds ahead of the rest of the field, despite losing a contact lens two thirds of the way through the race. Khaled, uh, second in qualifying, an easy win in the end there. Talk us through your race. Uh, started very well. I had a good launch and I had the inside line. Managed to uh, get ahead of Andre, and uh, I think Andre uh, had some problems, that's why he dropped back. But uh, I tried to keep it together until, until the end of the race and had a couple of scary moments, but managed to finish and win the race, yes. Race two, however, was a different story. After a strong start by both Ben Hader and Ramdani, it was the MSW driver who went on to take the chequered flag after Ben Hader ran out of fuel three laps from the end. Mohamed El Arishi drove a strong race to take second place in his BMW 330ci, with Simon Dennis in the Golf GTI finishing just a quarter of a second behind in third. Andre, race two and a win. You must be very pleased with that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the car worked flawlessly in the second race. Not so much in the first race, but the second race was really good. Set some really, Im I'm impressed with the lap times I've done and uh, managed to get on, um, on top step of the podium. Meanwhile, with leading campaigner Spencer Vanderpal absent, class two turned into a Honda battleground, with the lap 57 duo of Amir Khan and Mohamed Alawais slugging it out with Aslam Muller. In race one, Alawais and Muller had a huge tussle for top honours with the former UAE touring car champion. However, it was Alouez who got the edge, winning by half a second ahead of second place Muller with Khan in third. Race two, and once again, it was Alouez who took the chequered flag, this time with the mayor Khan filling his rear view mirrors. No luck for Aslan Muller though this time out, with mechanical problems forcing him to retire on lap eight. Mohamed, race two, another win. I don't think this weekend could go much better for you. Yeah, we're very, very happy with this result. Uh, we had a good uh, start with qualifying P1, race two, we had a good fight and we, we won it and then we had a, a very relaxing, you can say, uh, second race. Meanwhile, the hotly contested SciTech UAE GT Championship witnessed a big upset as Ray Hassan and Bassam Kronfli powered their MSW Ginetta to overall victory and a GTA class win in the mini one-hour enduro race. The pre-race favourite pairing of Karim Alazari and Fabian Giro in the house of Portier Tam Auto Engineering powered Corvette suffered a puncture which saw them finish second. Happy? What do you think man? Yeah, <laughs> ecstatic. Really, really ecstatic. Yeah. It's been a while since I uh, stood on that top step so yeah, really, really thrilled. Was it a tough one? To be honest with you, uh, I had no idea that I won the race until I came in. Uh, the guys had a pit board for me that said P2 with, with a distance to P1, but I didn't know whether I was P2 or I was P1. In the GTB class, it was the sister MSW team pairing of John Simmons and Phil Quaife that took victory, passing the Corvette of Mohamed Al Mutua and Yuri Skula on the very last lap, the win making it a great day on the island for the MSW racing prepared cars. Phil, John, you said you wanted to impress the sponsors. Well, that was pretty exciting. Well, exciting, yeah. Yeah, it was absolutely great. Um, obviously, we took the lead on the second to last corner of the last lap, so uh, it was unbelievable. And it was Robert Krieger who took a fine victory on his home circuit at the wheel of the Gulf Sport Maserati, 
in the highly competitive GTC class. Khalid Al Mudaf and Jan van Mabiek finished second in class at the wheel of the Ginetta, with third place going to Saad Salman and Jordan Grogor in the KTM Crossbow. Rob, well done. Thanks. How was that? It, it was pretty tough. Uh, it was a good race. The, uh, the Aston Martin was really fast, so uh, there wasn't ever more than like a six second gap. Um, and then I think he got a drive through, so we got away a little bit, but I mean, it was a great race. We're really happy to win here. So, so a great day's racing at the Yas Marina circuit. And you can catch more action from the UAE National Race Day series on January 28, 2011 at the Dubai Autodrome. Check out www.dubaiautodrome.com for more details.